Hey everyone, it's Dr. Lewis Marion coming to you from my dental office. Finally, after a lockdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it, of this pandemic, I am back and ready to practice. We are going to be opening on June 8th, 2020. That's this coming Monday. And everything has cl been cleaned here. We actually implemented all the PPE that that is necessary for the new dental protocols and actually went beyond it. Uh, so we have some really cool gadgets that I'll show you when you come in. I'll show you some in, actually in this video. Uh, and this video is kind of twofold. I wanted to show you, um, I've been coming in the last three days to get it ready. My front office uh, has joined me uh, yesterday and today. Um, and we've been all amazed how clean the city is, especially uh, where we are on Locust Street. And that's number one. So I'm going to show you a, a drive through the city. As you know, I also live in the city. So um, you'll see one point of the city driving into the center city. And the second um, reason I'm giving you this video, I wanted to tell you more about not really just PPE. I kind of covered that in the last video. Um, I wanted to cover today what we're doing to keep the air in this office clean. As you know, we have six operatories and where we do our dental work or do our hygiene work. And those will be um, treated, and I'm gonna show you in this video, with medical grade HEPA filters, H13s, as well as UVC or ultraviolet C grade radiation, which is really just light, don't worry, we're not um, being, becoming a nuclear uh, bomb site. And um, I'm also excited be to tell you that just yesterday, I don't know if you've heard it on the news, but the Department of Health and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania has lifted the ban on elective procedures, which means you can get your teeth cleaned, uh, to put it bluntly. And this Wednesday, my hygienist will be um, seeing her first patients with the new protocols. Um, be patient. I mean, get get your calls into Roberta and Alex to get scheduled, but be patient. We're actually making the appointments a little bit longer so that we can do the proper protocols of cleaning, pre-cleaning, pre-checking patients, and all that that will uh, be necessary to um, keep the area safe and uh, keep everyone safe. So um, enjoy the video, and if you have any questions, you may email me or... Um, Facebook message me, Instagram message me. You guys, I think, know it by now since I've been doing the quarantine dentist for some time in this lockdown pandemic period. All right, see ya. Hey everyone, it's Lewis Marion, and I am going to broadcast you from my car as I head to Center City. I do, as many of you know, live in the city. Um, I'm heading to Center City, from the city, um, and I am going to see how things are after day three of, uh, as, they, as they call it, civil unrest. So far this neighborhood looks peaceful. Oh, and don't worry, in that last footage, I wasn't speeding through the streets of Philadelphia. I was just uh, fast forwarding the video portion of the, uh, the video feed. So um, as I move up here on 9th Street, things looking very peaceful. Now I'm going to turn up Lombard, heading west. You can see uh, people walking alone, walking in pairs, groups, um, some people on bike, on scooters, and again, uh, city pretty quiet this morning. So I parked the car and I'm now going into the office building. So here's our lobby, as you know, and there are plenty of places to sit and call up to my receptionist, scheduling coordinator, Roberta, 
You can sit over here in really nice places. Um, and I'm going in the elevator now. We're going to go up. You'll see each elevator ride is only allowing two people, maybe at most three, uh, with masks on per elevator ride. So two to three people only in an elevator. So when you arrive up on the 14th floor, here's another place to sit. So you want to, the point here is you want to be, keep in touch before you come down the hallway to make sure there's either a place in the waiting room or that we are ready to seat you. And as you make your final approach, at this point you've been notified by Roberta that we are indeed ready to seat you. So again, the point of this video um, is two things. I, I wanted to drive through Philadelphia and show you how it's pretty safe, um, at least during the day. Uh, there's a huge police presence. Uh, the streets have been cleaned up and uh, businesses are starting to reopen. The second thing I wanted to discuss with you is the importance of air quality in dental offices. This is, and actually this has been a hot topic throughout the lockdown as scientists, dentists, researchers have figured out ways to improve in-office dental air quality. So that's, I'm going to talk to you about what we've learned and what we are doing in our own office. So the main issue, number one, is indoor air quality in a dental office. Um, a lot of um, people initially were worried about dentistry and hygiene, dental hygiene, because of aerosols. And no matter what any dentist or any um, person tries to advertise or tell you, aerosols are produced when the drill is run, when a cavitron is run, when a piezoscaler is used, and these things are unavoidable to practice dentistry. So if you want to add equipment in your HVAC system, it's going to take massive amounts of construction. You have to rip it out and change it and put these H13 high-grade HEPA, medical-grade HEPA filters in your system. You have to put ultraviolet class C lighting inside the ductwork, and that's just not going to happen. So what we're going to do instead, and what we have done in my office, is we've gotten medical grade standalone HEPA filters, H13s, in every operatory in the lab, as well as we're going to have sort of a smaller, quieter unit in each of the common areas, such as the waiting and reception area, the back offices, and the lunchroom. So we are utilizing stand-alone HEPA filters. So this is the actual sound. It is actually on, and it's one of the quietest HEPA high-grade um, filters on the market. So a quick look around the waiting room as it is today. We have the chairs spaced apart 8 to 10 feet. I'm going beyond the 6 feet. Um, I could have a maximum of four people. I probably won't use it because we are going to stay on time and pretty much seat the patient as they come in and once they are um, screened to be able to be treated. So um, another interesting thing about why we need to do this is because the virus itself, the coronavirus or the enemy is so small past HEPA filters could not do this. Um, the true HEPA filter is, is an excellent HEPA filter, but it is not the medical grade H13 that we have. And this is why we also are upping the ante with our masks. Now, at night, we're gonna use ultraviolet radiation. I mentioned this before. Ultraviolet light grade C kills the virus. And if you're a history buff like I am, in 1918, one of the things that turned the tide for the Spanish flu was they started to bring the patients outside into the sunlight and the all UV light from the sun helped heal them. So it's an interesting thing. So every night we are gonna have these UV lights on a timer in every area of the office, bathing the office in UVC light to sterilize the air, kill any virus that hasn't been killed with our disinfectant protocols and hasn't been filtered out with a HEPA 
filters that we have. Hey, I'm in the lab. Um, we've been checking things. My Centurion Q100 Ney oven, porcelain oven, is keeping its constant temperature through all this shutdown at 500 degrees Celsius. The one casualty of the pandemic was this um, Netgear router. This one's a brand new one. I had to replace that, but a lot of things are up and ready, ready for logins and so forth. So I am here in my lab um, with uh, going over some things. We're opening all these boxes for this new PPE equipment. Got to get these boxes out. And um, the office is very clean and we've had special cleaning people go through it and now we are all set so here is the drive home that i took uh two days ago uh so actually the city was a little closer to the uh, unrest that we had and you can see center city here's the um academy of music on the right on the left you do see boards up there you see the police presence on the corners um People that are still milling about. The National Guard is surrounding City Hall. And the business district of Philadelphia is pretty much a um, safe, uh, I guess if you use the war terms, I guess a green zone, I think they call it. Um, and then as we head here into the residential areas, things are looking pretty good. So um, I am sitting here near the supplies of disposable gowns all set and ready that would be wearing i'm holding in my hand a very valuable thing level three astm level three masks and um so these uh, are ultra filters ultra filtration that is and we are pretty much set and ready so um thanks for watching and i will send this uh link with my email um, as well as put on YouTube for you. And then if, again, if any questions, inbox me. I'm happy to answer them. I kind of got into this um, whole COVID infection control to um, help facilitate the opening. And it's, some of it's very interesting. Um, other things are interesting to me because I'm a dental geek. <laughs> but uh, I can't wait to see you guys. And um, have a great weekend and stay well, stay healthy, and uh, see you soon. Bye.